hello students in this video we are going to study about the torque that act on a current carrying loop when we place it in a uniform magnetic field okay so we will be having a magnetic field that is uniform over some region and then we have a loop carrying current and we placed that current carrying loop in that uniform magnetic field and try to find how the torque act on that loop as you can see in the diagram here i have already considered these magnetic poles north and south due to which the magnetic field capital b x in this direction like from north to south and i am considering that this field is acting in the plane of the paper okay then i have a loop p q r s now to understand this i have this okay considered this as a loop p q r s having current flowing from p to q q to r r to s and s to p the value of current is i and i am placing this loop like this okay so we are going to place this rectangular loop p q r s in a uniform magnetic field b vector such that the plane of loop is perpendicular to the magnetic field so uh, we have placed this loop such that the axis of this loop is perpendicular to the field means axis is this this will be the axis that i have plotted here by a dotted line so this axis of the loop will be perpendicular to the field that means i have placed it here so if we talk about the current current is going from p to q means in forward and q to r means coming upwards then r to s means coming backward and then s to p that means going downwards okay so this is the kind of loop that we have placed in the uniform magnetic field capital b now we are going to see how the force act on the different size sides of this loop now we have studied previously that whenever we have a single conductor placed in a magnetic field it experience some magnetic force because of that field okay then we have studied what happen when we have a pair of conductor placed parallel and now here we have four conductors so we assume this loop as a combination of four different conductors that is p q q r r s and s p of length a and b respectively means p s and q r are of length a and p q and s r are of length b means the loop that we have considered is a rectangular loop made up of four conductors two of length a and two of length b placed in a uniform magnetic field now we can find the magnetic force that is acting on these conductors separately because of this magnetic field let's move one by one so first of all i am going to talk about qr and ps means those sides which have length small a now for these sides we have the direction of magnetic field capital b from north to south means like this suppose i have considered this point at qr so the direction of field is this this is b and current is coming upwards like this is similar to this loop and current is coming upwards so by using fleming's left hand rule this is the magnetic field this is the val uh, this is current means magnetic field is in magnetic field is plotted by four finger and current is plotted by central finger so this is fleming's left hand rule magnetic field ke direction mein humne four finger ko point kiya and central finger is pointed in the direction of current then the direction of thumb will point the direction of magnetic force so magnetic force at this point will act like this means this this is the direction of magnetic force that means the force acting on the side qr is actually shown as along the axis of the loop and outwards now in the case of sp it is magnetic field in the direction from north to south current in the direction like this okay 
current is flowing from S to P then in this case we have the direction of force outwards again and along the axis of the loop. So for these sides QR and PS what we conclude that using Fleming's left hand rule when we find the magnetic forces we conclude that the forces acting on QR and PS are equal these two forces are equal because magnetic field is same we know that the magnetic force has value B I L sine theta the current flowing is same length is same magnetic field is same so and the also the direction that is the theta uh, between L and B is also same so everything is same that means the magnitude will be same but these are opposite and collinear along the axis of the loop so the resultant because of these two forces will be zero so that means the very first point that we conclude is according to Fleming's according to Fleming's left hand rule we are talking about Fleming's left hand rule what we get the magnetic force according to this rule the magnetic force on sides PS and QR are equal opposite and collinear collinear honge along the axis of the loop now because of these all three conclusion the resultant is zero because of these two forces the resultant is zero so this was about the two forces acting on PS and QR now come to the remaining two sides if we talk about PQ and SR let's see let's talk about PQ now if we consider a point here so the magnetic field has direction from north to south okay current is directing from P to Q now from P to Q ka meaning here it is going this like in forward direction okay P to Q ka matlab hai in forward or in upwards direction so in this case the force will act in an inward direction okay if we apply Fleming's left hand rule four finger will point towards the magnetic field current will point towards PQ that means this is the direction of our central finger then in that case this actually represents the this current okay so the side PQ according to Fleming's left hand rule experience a, an inward force means perpendicular and inward force we represent it like this okay this is the force F experienced by the side PQ in inwards direction similarly with the side RS when we talk about RS the direction of magnetic field is same means this B and current is opposite to that in PQ so this time the current is uh, flowing from R to S and because of that and Fleming's left hand rule R is going to experience equal force to this but in normal outwards direction okay means upar aega ye wala side that means it is going to have the force F the magnitude of this force is I L B sin theta and the length is a small b so the magnitude is I length is a small b then capital B sin theta now theta is 90 degree because length and magnetic field are at right angles so it will be I B B so both the forces has magnitude I small b capital B but this is going normally inwards and this is coming normally outwards so because of this the loop which is placed as in this form will start rotating okay this starts rotating these two forces combinedly form a couple which exerts a torque okay 
we know that whenever there are two such forces they form a couple and exert a torque now this torque formed by these forces acting on pq and rs is given as tau and is equal to force acting into perpendicular distance between these two forces so if we talk about the force the force is i small b capital b this is the force right and perpendicular distance between these two sides is let us calculate this okay this is the perpendicular distance between these two sides if this side is a and the angle between the length and the magnetic field is theta or we should say this angle is theta i am going to show the calculation of this perpendicular distance separately so here we have one side let this side be qr so we are zooming out the section qr okay now qr and these are the qp side and rs side and the perpendicular distance is like this hmm. if we plot this triangle then it seems like this the current at point q this is q point and this is r point the current at point q is going upwards means like this and the current at point r is going downwards right this is i up and this is i down now i am zooming this section q r i up and i down now here we have considered that this is the axis yahan par dotted axis hai loop ka where this is the magnetic field b and the angle between the direction b vector and नॉर्मल टू द प्लेन ऑफ द क्वाइल जो आपने क्वाइल का प्लेन लिया उसके नॉर्मल अगर आप प्लॉट करो तो उस नॉर्मल के साथ जो एंगल बना रहा है फील्ड दैट इज थीटा प्लेन का नॉर्मल लूप के प्लेन का नॉर्मल एंड डायरेक्शन ऑफ बी वैक्टर मेक्स एन एंगल थीटा नाउ दिस साइड इज स्मॉल ए राइट दिस इज नाइंटी डिग्री दिस एंगल this angle is equal to theta okay because of this um, because this is also the angle between the direction of magnetic field and the direction between the normal of the coil so this is again a this angle is again theta because of that the value of this side will become a sin theta okay so this is angle theta this is its perpendicular if you find sin theta then we get perpendicular upon hypotenuse so this side that is that is our required side yani perpendicular distance upon a so perpendicular distance is a sin theta so this we are going to put here a sin theta okay let's see so tau is equal to i b right i small b capital b a sin theta but a and b are the lengths of the sides of rectangular loop so a into b form the area of the loop right so i capital b a sin theta this is the torque acting at torque exert by the couple of force on that loop now if the loop has n number of turns this is for single loop if loop has capital n turns then the total torque is actually equal to the n times that of the one means tau is equal to n i b a sin theta okay where n i a we know that n i a is equal to small m that is the magnetic moment magnetic moment of the loop so we get tau is equal to m b sin theta or 
tau vector is equal to in vector form we can write it as m vector cross b vector where theta is the angle between m and b that means the direction of m vector is along the normal of the लूप मीन्स जो प्लेन ऑफ क्वाइल है उसके नॉर्मल के डायरेक्शन में ही हमें मैग्नेटिक मोमेंट एम वेक्टर मिलेगा दैन द डायरेक्शन बिटवीन एम वेक्टर एंड बी वेक्टर इज ऑल्सो थीटा सो वी कैन राइट टाओ एज एम बी साइन थीटा और टाओ क्रॉस एज एम क्रॉस बी द डायरेक्शन ऑफ टॉर्क इज सच दैट इट रोटेट्स द लूप क्लॉक वाइज अबाउट द एक्सेज ऑफ सस्पेंशन मीन्स ये जो आपका लूप है उसको क्लॉक वाइज रोटेट करेगा अबाउट इट्स axis now there are two special cases first is when theta is equal to 0 degree and the second is when theta is equal to 90 degree so when theta is equal to 0 degree we get sin 0 and sin 0 is 0 so tau will be 0 in this case the torque is minimum this is the minimum torque and in theta is equal to 90 degree we get sin 90 that is 1 so yahan par aapko tau milega is equal to m b or n i a b this is the maximum torque so we conclude that when the plane of loop is perpendicular to the magnetic field when the plane of loop is perpendicular to the magnetic field at the time theta is equal to 0 degree because theta is the angle between normal to the loop and magnetic field if i say plane of loop is perpendicular to magnetic field that means uh, normal to the loop is actually in the direction of magnetic field suppose this is magnetic field and this is loop so direction of magnetic field is perpendicular to the plane of loop but direction of magnetic field is parallel to the normal to the loop jo aapka loop ka normal hoga loop ke plane ka normal hoga uske parallel ho jayegi then in that case theta is equal to 0 degree so we get tau is equal to 0 degree this is the case of minimum torque but when the plane of the loop is parallel to the magnetic field if this is the direction of magnetic field and this is also the direction of loop means plane of loop is same as that of the direction of magnetic field then the normal of this plane is like this means that the normal of loop makes an angle 90 degree with magnetic field direction so theta is equal to 90 degree means we have to note that theta is the angle between normal to the plane of loop and magnetic field means लूप का प्लेन क्या एंगल बना रहा है दैट्स नॉट द थिंग लूप के प्लेन का नॉर्मल मैग्नेटिक फील्ड के साथ क्या एंगल बना रहा है दैट इज द एंगल थीटा ओके सो द मैक्सिमम टॉक दैट वी गेट व्हेन वी प्लेस द प्लेन ऑफ लूप पैरेलल टू द मैग्नेटिक फील्ड एंड दैट टॉक विल बी टाउ मैक्सिमम एंड इज इक्वल टू एन आई ए बी सो दिस इज द टॉक दैट इज एक्सपीरियंस्ड बाय अ current carrying loop when placed in a uniform magnetic field for further topics stay tuned and keep studying thank you